Hi guys, so let's do a short recap of what we did in class today with the ball toss activity. So in case you forgot, here it is again. Lovely, great performance, gentlemen. So what was the purpose of the ball toss activity and what were we looking for? Aside from just getting you to understand video physics and graphical analysis on your iPad, graphing the projectile motion today had a very distinct and clear purpose. The two most important things that you could have left class with today was this. In the x direction or left to right, Something is constant, and that something that we observed to be constant was velocity. So the way that you saw that notated was v sub x is constant. Since v sub x is constant, there really is no need for us to use the notation v sub i or v sub f because v sub i x is v sub f x. The second thing that I was hoping that you would notice today, or that you would leave with today, was that in the y direction, there is constant acceleration. And that constant acceleration is due to gravity. In the y direction, what I mean by this is up and down. So a sub y is constant, which means that v sub i y and v sub f y are not necessarily the same. So let's look a little bit more at what that means. So today you had to create graphs. This red graph here shows the x displacement in the horizontal direction and the x velocity in the horizontal direction. So as you would expect, the x displacement or delta x versus time graph shows that there is a consistent or constant change in displacement due to a constant velocity. So here we see a constant slope, which means constant velocity in the x direction. On the x velocity graph, you saw something that looks like this. And please pardon the inaccuracy of my data collection. According to the line of best fit, this is linear. But ideally, what we would have seen if my data wasn't so terrible was something that was more like this. OK, so this is bad. Bad job, Miss Lee. Now this constant velocity should be indicative of a constant acceleration of zero. Okay, so here we see slope equals zero, then acceleration in the x equals zero. Now when we looked at just the y direction, here we see y or delta y versus time. You see that the delta y ends up being zero when you look at the start and end of motion that is symmetrical, meaning we start our frame of reference at the same place, <clears throat> the same delta y at which we end it. So someone kicks a soccer ball on the ground, when we look at that frame of reference of from the time the ball leaves the ground to from the time the ball is back to the ground, that delta y should be zero. So our displacement we see here increases quickly here and slowly here until it becomes more negative or starts going in the negative direction and again ends quickly. So right at the peak, right at the peak is when our displacement begins to change direction. So this graph of y 
in meters versus time actually shows the path or the trajectory of the projectile. When we look at the graph of y velocity, or v sub y, over time, we see something that we could have expected. We see something or a graph that represents a trend from very positive to slightly positive through zero, getting slightly negative, and then more negative. So we look at the trend of our tangent line slopes on the displacement graph, and indeed we see the same behavior. The most steep and positive here, slightly steep. Zero, because remember, v sub y is zero at the top, slightly negative here, and then increasingly negative slope there. Now the slope of v sub y is not zero. Then there is acceleration in the y. And that acceleration in the y is gravity. And we can double check that by looking here at our statistics to see if the slope of our velocity in the y direction is indeed around 9.8. So here are those two graphs on the same axes for your viewing pleasure. And if you have any questions, if you are anything less than 80% sure about what we did today, please come and see me during office hours. I do look forward to speaking with you. Have a good night, guys.